a Monday finish for the first official FedEx Cup event in Malaysia. Settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. Hello everyone, I'm Joe Cowart and weather got the best of the field and the golf course on Sunday in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, forcing two players tied at the top to come back and settle the score early Monday morning. Ryan Moore and Gary Woodland finished tied at 14 under after 72 holes, both eyeing their third PGA Tour win. Woodland had a chance to win the tournament outright with a birdie putt from 18 feet away late Sunday evening, but the miss, combined with Ryan Moore scrambling up and down for par at the closing hole, left the two tied with the sun setting Sunday evening in the capital city. Both were back early Monday morning with a 7.30 a.m. local start for a sudden death playoff and both choosing to lay up for their third shots at the 634-yard home hole. Moore first to play, and he stripes it from 157 out. He hits it to four feet, setting up what looks like a certain birdie putt, clearly putting him in the driver's seat. Woodland trying to match him with his third, but comes up right of the green, forcing his hand, needing to hold a delicate little chip from the edge of the putting surface, Woodland comes up short and clears the path for Moore to sink his putt for the birdie to claim the win. Moore vaults to second in the FedEx Cup standings, collecting 500 FedEx Cup points in the first official PGA Tour event in Asia. And on the Champions Tour at the AT&T Championship, it was a playoff between Kenny Perry and World Golf Hall of Famer Bernhard Longer. Both finished tied at the end of regulation, and it's Kenny Perry with the winning putt on the first extra hole. From Malaysia to Shanghai, China, next up is the HSBC Champions, where Ian Poulter defends. Amanda Balionis will have a full preview on Tuesday, right here on PGATour.com.